MIDI cues are a great way to control Easy Worship wirelessly and automatically. Today, we're going to show you how to streamline your worship service by using MIDI integration to connect your Prime app from Loop Community with Easy Worship. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. If you use the Prime app from Loop Community, you can use their MIDI out feature to create MIDI cues in your worship tracks to control the slides in Easy Worship. This is a fantastic feature because this will allow you to set up those cues ahead of time so you'll never miss a slide or have a slide show up too late during your worship service. The Prime app will work on both the Mac OS and iOS and works the same way on both. But today, we'll be using an iPad. The first thing you need to do is make sure the computer running Easy Worship and your iPad are connected to the same network. Since we're connecting an Apple device to a Windows computer through the network, you'll need a utility called RTP MIDI installed on your Easy Worship computer to make this connection work. A second utility that isn't required but that we would recommend installing is called Bonjour. This is a network discovery utility that will allow Easy Worship to open with the MIDI integration enabled. If it isn't installed, it will prompt you to do so when you open Easy Worship. We'll also leave a link in the description below to one of our knowledge base articles that will walk you through installing Bonjour step by step. It should only take a couple of minutes, so if you want to install that now, go ahead, pause the video, and come back when you're done. Now, Open Easy Worship and click the Remote button on the toolbar. If you don't see a Remote button, you'll need to enable it in the Options page. To get there, click the Edit menu and go to Options. Then click Advanced and check the box next to Enable Remote Control and click OK. From the Remote button, hover over MIDI and click the plus button in the bottom left corner to create a new MIDI control. When the MIDI control window opens, click the link in the bottom left corner that says More Information to download and install RTP MIDI. Easy Worship uses RTP MIDI for the network connection between your iPad or phone and the PC. When you click the link, a browser window will open with instructions and a link in the top right corner to download RTP MIDI. This should also only take a couple of minutes. So once again, if you want to install that now, pause the video and come back when you're done. Once that installation is complete, go ahead and launch RTP MIDI. In the top left, you'll see a box named My Sessions. Click the plus button at the bottom of that box to create a session. You should now see a session with your computer name. Check the box next to it to enable that session. Just below that, you'll see another box named Directory. This will list all devices on your network that it can connect to. You should see your iPad listed here. If you don't, make sure it's on and unlocked. When you see it available, select your iPad and click Connect. Now your iPad should be listed in the Participants list on the right. Go ahead and close RTP MIDI by clicking the X in the top corner, and go back to Easy Worship. In the MIDI control window that we left open, you can create a control name. Let's just name this one Prime. The input MIDI device is going to be the computer you're sending the MIDI cues to. That will be this PC that has Easy Worship on it. So click the drop down and select your computer name. If you need to use a specific MIDI channel, select one here. Otherwise, leave it on any and then go to the Input Cues tab. You'll see a lot of information on this screen, but all of the MIDI notes are already set to work with Prime, so you shouldn't need to change anything here. 
but you will want to leave this window open to reference what MIDI notes you want to use for creating the cues in Prime. If you want, you can also write them down or take a screenshot of this page. That way you have the information without needing to have that window open. Before adding the MIDI cues in Prime, make sure you have your Easy Worship schedule created with all the songs you'll be using. You can add your songs to your Easy Worship schedule by dragging and dropping them from the Songs tab. So now, let's go to your Prime app on the iPad and set up those cues. In the Prime app, the first thing you want to do is tap the Settings gear in the top right corner. You'll see an option for MIDI cues connections. This should already have your PC name listed, but if it doesn't, tap on it and select your computer name from the list. Then, tap anywhere outside the settings box to close the settings. If you haven't already, add a song to your set list by tapping on Add Song. Select the song in the set list and then tap Edit on the right side of the timeline, and then Edit MIDI Cues. If you want, you can press the zoom button to make it easier to see where you're adding the cue. We've set up our song in Easy Worship to start with a blank slide so there aren't words on the screen during the track intro. I want it to advance to the second slide just before verse 1. If I look at Easy Worship, the MIDI note to advance to the next build, or slide, is note 9. So, in the Prime app, I need to double tap on the spot in the timeline where I want to add the MIDI cue, which will bring up the window to select your cue. This would be where the zoom comes in handy, because it allows you to be more precise when placing the cue. Although, even if you get it in the wrong place, you can still drag it back and forth where you want it. So, in the pop-up window for the cues under MIDI, select Note On, and under Note, select 9. We can leave Channel on 1 since we left the channel setting on Any in Easy Worship, and it won't matter which channel is selected. If you did select a specific channel in Easy Worship, you'll need to select that channel on every cue you create here. Velocity can stay on 1 because we aren't using that setting for this cue. Velocity will only be used if you want to jump to a specific slide or schedule item. For example, if I want to jump from slide 1 to slide 5 instead of the next slide or slide 2, I can use the slide number cue from Easy Worship, which is note 16. So instead of selecting note 9 for the next slide, I would select note 16. Then, Choose the number 5 under Velocity to specify slide number 5. When Prime hits that cue in the track, it'll jump to slide 5 in that song in Easy Worship. Tap Save to save that cue in the song. Another example of using the Velocity setting is to go live to a schedule item in Easy Worship. For example, if the song I'm working on is the third item in the Easy Worship schedule, I can set up MIDI cues in the Prime track to send that song live. Sending a schedule item live does require two different MIDI cues, one to select the schedule item and the other to send it live. So at the beginning of the track, I would suggest either in the start or the intro, double tap to add a MIDI cue and select note on, then 15, which is the note for schedule number. Then, set the velocity to 3 for schedule item number 3. Click Save to save that cue, then double tap in the timeline directly after that cue to add another one, and select Note On, and Note 10, which is the note for Go to Presentation Start, or in other words, go live to the beginning of that schedule item. Leave Velocity on 1 since we don't need it for this cue, and then click Save. Now, when you play the track from the beginning, the first MIDI cue will select the third schedule item in Easy Worship, and the second cue will send it live on slide 1. After that, you can place MIDI cues to advance to the rest of the slides in that song 
or any other cues you might want, including black screen, clear screen, or even the logo. When you're finished adding all your MIDI cues, tap Done at the top of the screen. Now, go back to the computer, and if your MIDI control window is still open, click OK to close it. The last thing we need to do for setup is click the Remote button on the toolbar in Easy Worship and hover over MIDI. Next to your MIDI connection, click the Lock button to unlock it and allow it to receive the MIDI cues from your Prime app. If you need to edit your Easy Worship songs to match the MIDI cues you set up in Prime, you can right-click and edit those either in the schedule or the database. Or if you make any changes to your slides in Easy Worship, you can edit those cues in Prime to match those changed slides. Now, when you play your track in Prime, each time it hits one of those MIDI cues, it will send that signal to Easy Worship and perform the function you set it up to do. Again, this is an amazing feature and very helpful if you use Easy Worship and Prime from Loop Community. If you don't use tracks and would like to, I'll leave a link to Loop Community's website in the description below, and you can check them out. If you do have any questions, go ahead and put those in the comments below, or you can send an email to support at easyworship.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell. I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day.